In one of our most recent videos, I talked about our need for some more exercise equipment in our home gym. And I think we found the perfect frugal fit family piece of equipment. Today we found this Nordic Track treadmill on the Facebook Marketplace for free. Um, that's right, this Nordic Track iFit treadmill. It's about seven years old, six, seven years old maybe. The guy was offering it for free. He got it from somebody else for free because the treadmill doesn't work. And so I'm hoping that we can fix this for $200 or less and have a good functioning treadmill. Let me walk you through why this is the treadmill I wanted. All over the Facebook Marketplace, there are treadmills for two to $300. And a lot of them are just garbage. They don't function well. They don't have a good size deck. They are flimsy when you're running on them. I didn't want anything like that. What I know about Nordic Track treadmills is their gym quality. They're built really solid. This one specifically has a nice runner's flex so that I can turn that on and off. So they give the deck a little extra flex or make it stiff, depending on what I want to do. It's got a nice wide tread and heart rate monitors and everything else. I'm really excited. Let's start breaking into it and see if we can fix it. The main thing wrong with this is whenever we press any of the buttons here, start, whatever it's going to be, nothing actually changes. I can press all these buttons, right? It's got power. It's got, it functions when I use the touch screen here. The iFit doesn't seem to be working just right. I can't find the iFit app. When I press the iFit things here, it doesn't do anything. I can get my menus when I press those buttons. So I know that the keypad's working. There's something probably else wrong. We're gonna start by looking at the motherboard first. What we've done in the last hour is we've taken off the bottom panel down here. And what we were looking for primarily is this LED light. All of the articles online said that if we press the buttons in the panel, that LED light should be blinking. And if it's not, then it's probably a wiring problem. But we're not sure at this point. With that LED light not moving at all, I really think it is a wiring issue. What we've done is taken the last 20 minutes to register this on the Nordic Track website so that they'll talk to us on tech support. And now we're on hold. There you go. That's how fat, that's how far we've gotten. So I've got a Nordic Track iFit treadmill here, an older one. And the com computer screen turns on and everything but I can't get it to turn on. The treadmill actually doesn't turn. And the iFit app itself, I think, has been deleted. First thing we're gonna try and do is see if we can get iFit up and running again, um, just to see if the machine is even functional. Two hours later. So we just spent the last hour on the phone with tech support, and we were able to download software that was missing on the device. And the software keeps crashing. It's a little temperamental but I was able to kind of hack through it a little bit and when for the 10 seconds that the manual workout comes on, if I press the button for manual workout, it loads and the treadmill works. It's not perfect, but so far we've spent zero dollars. At that point, I can't really complain. Like the incline is working, the speeds are working, all I want to be able to do is run to the Peloton app or to the Peloton screen that I've got on the TV. So with that being said, I think we're done enough for tonight. We're going to call it a night and we're going to start moving this over to the house. So a quick recap about how we fixed the treadmill. The day we picked it up, the gentleman that had it was just sick and tired of it. He couldn't figure out how to fix it. He believed that there was something wrong with the wiring or the controller. Controllers run about $200 and he didn't want to fix the treadmill. He then told me that he got this treadmill for free because the owner before him didn't want to fix it or pay to have it fixed. I had to help the guy manhandle this treadmill and get it out of his house. He was not as gentle and obviously frustrated that he had even embarked on such an endeavor. And I was starting to wonder if I was going to suffer the same fate. Instead of bringing it down to my basement, I decided to take it to my mother-in-law's garage and see if we could get it fixed before we put all the effort into getting it downstairs. When we got the treadmill into the garage, I could get it to turn on, but I couldn't get any of these buttons anywhere to work. Upon further investigation, when I loaded up the apps, the iFit app was not working and there were no other apps really running at all on the, on the tablet. Before I called Nordic Track, I connected this tablet to the Wi-Fi to make sure that I could download any software that they needed me to download. We launched the browser. They gave us a couple different iFit applications to download and we tried each and every one of them. 
and they're still not working, but I want to show you what is working. And this is good enough for us. The first application we were able to download is a version of iFit. And when it loads, it does this. It loads the screen and then crashes. In those two or three seconds, we get manual workout up here. And if we hit manual workout, then the treadmill starts to run and we get full access to all the controls. So even though it's not working perfectly, there's a lot of life left in it. And it's actually a really easy way to still get into the applications and make the treadmill run. And as long as we were able to save this thing from the dump, it's going to serve our purposes just fine. I love these old Nordic track treadmills. They're built really solid, just as good as a gym quality type treadmill. The software is old and outdated and doesn't really work. I'm not going to pay to do iFit or anything like that. I've got Peloton running on my Fire Stick TV. I'm going to call that good. This is about eye level for me. And if I zoom out, you can see that I can still see my TV really nicely, especially when I raise the deck up, I can actually see the TV better. So we're going to run the Peloton app on our Fire Stick TV here. So I can still do a Peloton treadmill workout and just run everything on this particular treadmill. It's got fans. So it has two fans up here and one more fan down here. Man, I can't say enough good things about having quick speed buttons, especially when you're trying to do hit type workouts and you're trying to get to a seven, an eight, a 10, a four, a three, quickly having to adjust the speed with a plus and minus is much slower and a lot more effort than it is to just hit one button and go. I like that feature a lot. I'm also pretty jazzed about the range of incline here, especially when we're training to do a lot of hikes, um, mountain climbing, trail running, being able to run at an incline is priceless. So guys, this treadmill does not work perfectly by any means, but it works. And as long as I launch the application and press manual workout within the first two, two, three seconds before the app crashes, I'm up and running, like literally running. <laughs> and I love it. Like, I can't even say like how happy I am that uh, I took a gamble, went out and got a treadmill for free that wasn't working and it cost us zero dollars to fix. I'll go ahead and leave in the doobly doo down below all of the links to download the iFit applications that the Nordic track tech support gave to me so that if you're having the same problem, if someone deleted iFit or if the iFit app is not working for some reason on your device, you can go ahead and delete that app, add it with the, uh, with the APK files that I'm linking down below. And hopefully you'll get some kind of resolution that'll work for you. One last thing. This treadmill is old and heavy and it was a beast to get down into this basement. If it breaks again, I am tearing it apart in pieces and tearing it out of here. I am not lifting it out. I'm not giving it away. Any of you that have had to move organs, pianos, and treadmills up and down stairs, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't. There is no way I want to move this again. <laughs> but I guess with all the money that I saved, if I had to, I could afford to pay somebody else to move it for me. <laughs> well guys, that's it. I got a Nordic Track iFit treadmill that wasn't working, was able to troubleshoot it, use the tech support hotline to get it all up and running. It's not perfect, it's still quirky, but it works. And I got a free treadmill. If you guys like this video or if it was helpful for you to fix your Nordic Track treadmill, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video.